now that we have probably as many as are going to hatch out, hatched out, I wanted to do a quick review on was the spraying them down with 3% peroxide for, I think I did 10, 9 or 10 of them out of 24 worth it. The circles were what I marked on the peroxide sprayed eggs. And these hashes were the ones I marked and the ones I did not spray with peroxide. And so considering that less than half were sprayed with peroxide and more than half who hatched were peroxide sprayed eggs, I would say that helped. Of course, this is a very small standard deviation and small test group, so future tests needed, um, and I expect to continue to try and hatch out eggs. I'm really hoping that I'll have at least one um, male and one female out of these. It's too soon to know. Probably know in a, what, like a month, month and a half? I forget what they said. But when they start to get their adult feathers, uh, then you can start to tell because these are feather sexable quail. Just like, you know, cardinals are, the boys are red and the, it's not quite that dramatic as the girls being brown and the boys being red. But it is um, noticeable because the girls will have uh, kind of like a speckly chest and the boys will have more of a smooth and golden chest. So that's... We'll see if I'll be able to figure it out when that time comes. It's getting close to time to clean you guys' area out here, huh? Been in there two days, you messing everything up.